Hey everyone, Tracy here from Keto and Crime, coming to you from East Lake Park in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm here visiting family this week. Got my True Crime uh, coffee mug out here taking a walk. I have been listening to day one testimony in the Lori Vallow case, and these are transitional lenses, so you will start to see them get dark. But uh, so day one, Monday the 10th was mainly, I would assume part one of uh, the prosecution's opening case. Six straight hours of opening statement. In it, they did release what we already knew to be the case that Tammy Daybell did die of, of asphyxiation. That was the big takeaway from day one. And then of course, basically painting Lori as what we know she to be her to be a narcissist who did this for sex, money, fame, and an inflated sense of importance. Didn't we already know that? So that is the great takeaway. As I said, it took me several hours to get through all the testimony and I'm still, all the opening statement, still not fully done with it. Of course, day two will drop later today. I will start listening to that. And by the end of the week, I hope I will have a more thorough day one and two possibly day three summary for you guys but uh it's nice to be back in my home state kind of looking around this is a beautiful park just take a look and there are ducks that have no fear they will walk right up to you here but you're not allowed to feed them so anyway um that's the big takeaway from day one. Uh, I think we all know Tammy died of asphyxiation. Another big takeaway was that they made reference to a phone call where basically Lori was poo-pooing all over Alex and if you, you know, if you can't do anything right. We assumed that was in reference to the failed gunshot attempt on Tammy Daybell that occurred just, you know, couple of weeks before she was found dead and this is a woman that there's a jogger approaching he's looking at me really really weirdly as I'm walking talking to a phone but like I said this is this is Birmingham Alabama not LA but um, perfectly healthy woman was training for a marathon or a half marathon some really long run that it would take me it would take me years to get to that moment but she was a fully primed athlete and so she had no pre-existing health conditions that we know of so it's obvious that she was smothered and so that's what they revealed yesterday as well as Lori most possibly being aware of what happened that uh, Daybell ended her life now we all know that Lori is up for both murder and conspiracy to commit murder in the deaths of her children and she's also up for conspiracy in reference to the death of Tammy Daybell in Idaho and Arizona. We're still pending the case for um, conspiracy on uh, Charles Vallow. So I don't know how all these proceedings will affect Arizona. She is found guilty, which I highly anticipate her being found guilty unless there's just one reasonable doubt that her team is able to put up. Um, so, she will be extradited to Arizona to face trial there. Now, who gets to house her? I don't know. Is it the taxpayers of Idaho or is it the taxpayers of Arizona? But think about it. She's going to spend the rest of her life in prison if she's found guilty. And so, anyway, I'm going to try to get past this music so I don't get the copyright strike. Hang on. You're joining me on my midday walk here, by the way. Like I said, this is a public park, so just bear with me. Got a nice beat, though. But uh, anyway, so that's kind of where we are. Um, I will be li listening to more of the recordings and get more to you. But those are the big takeaways. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed just taking a break with me today for my work day and talking about it. I'll be back really, really soon. 
with more on it and another true crime or dark history video. Until next time, keto and crime.